Hello, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod for a new mod test for Tuesday, April 5th. And this is the KUHN HR 4004 and BTF 4000 and the TF 1512. So it's a pack of three implements that are meant to be used together as a, as a seeding unit, basically. We have the cedar portion, uh, the seed tank, which is uh, mounts to the front in typical faction, fa faction, fashion, and a power harrow. Um, so there's a few interesting things about this package, and we'll get into the details in a moment. But first of all, where we will will we find them? So, so the cedar, and is it? We already have something very similar here, um, and this is a four meter. Yes, yeah, so we have something similar to this already, but here it is: the KHN BTF four thousand, fourteen thousand dollars. So pretty cheap. Um, four meters uh, uh, requires a hundred horsepower, nine miles per hour, and it's a cedar, right? Uh, there is no there is no um, options for this one. It is what it is. Four meters to cedar. Yes, okay, fine. Um, now, uh, here's the front tank, of the uh, TF-1512, $16,000. Um, not too bad either. 1,500 liters of seed. It weighs 800 kilograms and seed only. <clears throat> Again, we do have a an option for a front weight attachment. And front weight. Two that will add <clears throat> some weight, actual weight to it, and standard. Oh, I see what's going on. Um, front weight, as in it's just pushing it further out front, and then it adds a weight. So if you uh, if you want it added a weight to it, it's costing you five hundred bucks. Right. Uh, the next piece of it is going to be found in Power Heroes right here, the HR4004, $18,000. So quite a bit cheaper than any of the rest of the Power Heroes or most of them. There are a few cheaper ones, uh, but uh, they're all, It's of course, it's 4 meters at 9 miles per hour, uh, 100 horsepower as well. So this one, you can just use it as a Power Hero like so just as it is. Uh, design, you have a, a extra track loosener. Uh, I would imagine that's where the, um, so where the, tra the tracks of the tractor wheel, it would, you know, loosen that up before it hits the harrows. Uh, a ridge marker. Let's back, uh, ridge markers and a track and ridge and then nothing. So, uh, attachers. This is important. If you want to use this with the cedar, you have to put that three point plus PTO attacher on there, right? For two grand. So total twenty one thousand, right? Okay. So uh, slots, I believe uh, eight, eight, seven, and the probably this one's about the same. I did forgot to check. Um, <laughs> now, putting it all together. The front piece, of course, is going to attach oh, this way. Like so. And there you go. So now um, you attach the harrow first, the power harrow. Like so. And then the cedar goes on. And it probably helps if you lower it. There we go. And as you can see, the hose uh, appears and automatically fits very nicely. Yes, very nice. Now, lowering it, lifting up. So, uh, to lift the whole unit up like so. There you go. And 
each unit kind of lowers and raises so depending on what you have highlighted right uh, you can lower the front tank if you like or not right so um, opening the tank like so and you can fill it fill it anyway with the uh, bags or just filling it up at a seed by point <clears throat> right now um, you can turn on the cultivator if you turn on the cultivator everything turns on it's kind of like all connected now uh, you turn it on you, you lower that you can lower the cultivator and then you got to go lower the cedar and there it goes now you might think let's see what else do we got here let's turn that off uh, Oh, the ridge markers. We don't have ridge markers on this one, but we do on the one on the field. Um, you can unload. Yes, stop engine. So the typical things that you would have with the cedar and so forth. Right, so let's go hop over to our one that he's been going on. So this, uh, you would might say, well, this field's already cultivated. Well, yes, it is. And he's been doing a good job for a while now and uh, a very fine job uh, he the worker works it just fine so here we go obviously this is a just a harvested field not cultivated or anything and you would think I would think you have a power hero here now <clears throat> let's just say for example uh, you drop the cedar off and you drop the front cedar off and you just had a power harrow and you just wanted to power harrow your field right so there you go i have i have cultivated this field with that power harrow this one right here turned it on and cultivated this here little strip it's a shallow cultivator but you can definitely seed over the top of that. Once it's like this, you can you don't need a a direct drill. Uh, any seeder will seed over this. Right? Are you following me so far? Because <laughs> the punchline's coming pretty quickly here. Um, right. So you hook that back up. Uh, no, uh, get on to the power arrow here. Back this up get this hooked back up and uh, you know uh, lift that up for a second there we go <clears throat> so now we turn it on lower it oh okay and lower the cedar well we should be able to direct drill with this wait a minute that's not doing anything it's not working. <laughs> Farm dog Max agrees. Come on, Max. Come tell the people why it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. You have a power hoe harrow here. And then the cedar. <clears throat> All sorts of stuff going on here. That should be digging up that ground so that can seed. But, alas, no it is not. Uh, it's not the first time I've encountered this. We have plenty of cedars that have a power hero on it that don't direct drill. So, uh, all this extra crap on here does absolutely nothing. Uh, it's very disappointing. I don't know if... I, I You know what? And this is not... Um, I don't want to make it sound like I'm blaming the modder for this, uh, necessarily, because... <clears throat> As far as I know, the Giants, uh, the the Giants' a version of this doesn't direct drill either. So I think it's a flaw of the game. As a matter of fact, I could be wrong. But in this case, everything seems to work. It works. The uh, power harrow, as you could see, works by itself. Fine. It does it, no problems. 
as soon as I put that cedar on there, there's something with the combination of it that uh, interferes somehow, somewhere. So something's broken, and I, I don't, I don't think it's the 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 designer of the mod uh, that's the issue here. So I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to say it needs an update or anything. I think the game needs an update. So Giants, if you're listening, <laughs> this is broken. Not because of the modder, <clears throat> but the game is broken, not allowing this to work. And it just doesn't, I have, um, for example, you can put a subsoil. There's lots of subsoilers with three-point links on the back of it too. And you put a cedar on the back of a three point on the back of a subsoiler. The subsoiler will not work. It bypasses a subsoiler and uh, the, it goes to the cedar. And of course, if the cedar is not a direct drill, it's not going to plant anything. Even though you have a subsoiler or a power harrow or something. But anyways, <sighs> that's my little mini rant. I think I'll mark it a little mini rant on the um, thumbnail so that uh, while well, you would if you're watching this you have known that already but anyways this is the KHN HR 4004 BTF 4000 and the TF 1512 by Nico DU55 I didn't say that at the beginning 16.77 megabytes cuz I was a little bit upset because things weren't working uh, 8 I think there's 8 slots Seven slots and something slots, something, seven, something, something around there. Um, yes, other than that, I mean, it's it's a great detail, nice detail, nicely detailed. Everything works as, as well as it possibly can. Oh, lights. Oh, we got some lights. I did indeed forget... check the lights just so discombobulated there it is signals lights hmm very nice I say the, 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 the mod itself is made very well and nice just I think it's a problem with the game not the mod just uh, just so you know I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's just a game so till next time <laughs>